Hello viewers, I'm Sergeant Sim Racing. Welcome to my new channel. Right, let's jump straight into the race, uh, Daily Race C, which is Group 3 race at Kyoto. Kyoto, Kyoto. And I grab my Group 3 Lexus and head on in. Now, I've only actually had this game about three weeks. So just cut me some slack, okay? This is all at this this channel is gonna be dedicated to my journey in the sim racing world. So I'm just having a look here, I can see I've only got medium and hard tires to choose from. So let's give it a go, let's see what I can do. Right, as the game hands me over, the second gear and way. Yeah, yeah, that that there is a sign of things to come. Right, okay, so I've done a 223.1 and we're looking to upgrade that to at least the 220 kind of region. Right, as I butcher my way into turn one, I'll uh, give you a bit of background. So, like I say, I've only had the game a couple of weeks anyway. Or is he going to get a good line through there? Yeah, still learning the track, so I am effectively a complete new for this. Yeah, so I've only had the game a couple of weeks anyway. Um, long-term player of the Gran Turismo series, full stop. So I thought, oh, why not, give it a go. Joined a little championship, kind of got into it more and more. So since then, I've got myself a play seat, the play seat evolution. I'll pop a little picture up at the end, if you wish. Um, and a G29, and I haven't looked back since. Right. Still learning to trail break. Just made that, just made it. There we go, into the left, missed the apex completely. Whoa, just about made it. Yeah, so I am struggling somewhat on some tracks. But though, I've got a league race coming up that I'll bring you along for um, on Sunday, so that'll be tomorrow. Hopefully, it'll be published Saturday the 2nd, so there'll be a league race to show you on the 3rd. This is a private league race, but I'll bring you along uh, as a part of two separate championships there. One group three and one group four. And Kazin, oh no, bad. Horrific, absolutely horrific. Whee. Yeah, so I've kind of always wanted to do one of these sorts of channels. We never really found the game of, frankly, had the enthusiasm to get on with it. Nonetheless, here we are. If you're still watching at this point, well done. Hope my driving is entertaining you and I'm sure annoying you all. Can you make it in? Down. At this point, I didn't realise that that is quite such a shallow corner. As a sensible person would have looked at the track map, but no, not me. Why do a silly thing like that? Right, okay, here we come. Here we go. That wasn't too bad there. So I'm driving full manual, no assists. I've got the cone marker on, which I know is cheating, but what are you going to do? Right, go over the line. Bam! So, 123.1. Now, I'm going to cut to my kind of following attempts, shall we say. Um, yes, as you can see, from my lack of ability to get the car moving in a straight line, it's not good. Just pip the apex there, trying to wind the power on. There we go, what's he going to make? Is he going to do it? I don't think I am on this lap. And... Oh! No, still a 23-1. You can see from the ghost there, I am way behind on this lap. Just really struggling to get used to the harder tyres. And I can do slightly better on softs and super softs, like I say. Right, okay, so we just cut through all the loading screens. So we're about to go into the actual race itself. Now I've not done too bad here, I've placed 11th. So that either means everyone else I'm racing against is absolutely terrible as well. Um, or I've done quite well. Okay, so as we get gridded up. So my aim for the race is don't spin, don't get any penalties and just keep it clean. So I'm trying to get my driver rating back up from one to something. Um, I've got my safety rating up to 99, so that's quite good. 
So the main objective is at least finish where I started on the grid, or, or improve. And like I say, do that without any penalties um, and without spinning. So let's see how we do. So the Lexus certainly seems to be very good in a straight line. As you can see here, I'm taking absolutely no advantage of slipstreaming whatsoever. Into turn one, I can tell it's all going to go a bit crazy, so I've just, just eased off. Let them drive off if it's a distance. Right, here we go. I know I'm pretty quick through here. And, whoa! Yeah, that put me off. <laughs> So yeah, I'm trying to just obviously keep it clean, keep that little green SR button from going, keep it going up. Whoa, extremely wide. How I didn't spin there, I don't know. I can see someone coming up on my inside there, let them come through. No point to prove here. Oh, didn't even spot him. But that's fine. I know I'm quicker than him anyway. So... It's worth knowing at this point that obviously I'm not going for a race win, so as long as I don't completely tank the race, whoa, that was my fault there. Slowed down. Knew I was going to be quicker than him anyway, so I might as well just carry on. Whilst well, everything all goes a little bit crazy. So trying to get used to the car, trying to get used to racing, the traffic. Um, this was actually not too bad a race. I've had a couple where people just just want to hammer you left, right and centre. Everyone was pretty okay in this race. So I've really got to get used to using that paddle shift. Braking hard. Didn't do too bad. Missing all my apexes. Brilliant. Well, didn't do too bad there. So we're catching this car here, number six. Now he proved to be a bit of a pain for me. So I knew I was quicker than him. I think where I made mistakes, or like now, so I'll slow down, let him carry on. There you go, effectively go to the place back. And there we go, number six, he's dropped back. So maintain position. Oi. So I'm sure a lot of you are cringing here at my absolute lack of technical skill. This is the first time I'd ever done this track, so those qualifying laps that you saw, I think I did about two or three beforehand. Um, plus I must have done five or six laps trying to qualify, and then this race. So I don't feel I'm doing too bad. I'm a DS rated driver online at the moment. So obviously the aim is to get above that, we want to get, get a C as quickly as we can. Oh, underestimated that badly. Just not paying attention. Concentrating too much on my lines, straight in the back of him, but I backed off. Let him keep his position. Whee. So I thought I'd try and bring it in, go for a faster exit, see if I can make up some ground on him. So at this point, I thought I was doing quite well. Got ninth place, not bad. Yeah, I look like I could probably challenge Ape, not, you know, it's, it's a possibility. S really struggle through that, that hairpin. And struggle through this left-hander as well, and you'll we'll see the results of that a bit later on. As we build pace coming up. Sweep the left, at the moment my lap time's looking good. Well, good for me anyway. Again, not taking advantage of slipstreaming or whatsoever. But now I'm obviously fearful that he's going to just break hard and I'm going to slam into the back of him. So rather than spin and lose the space, I'd rather just hold hold off a little bit. Right, here we go. Breaking hard. Into the hairpin. Oh, couldn't quite do it and I didn't want to tap him. Just let him carry on. Obviously by putting this on YouTube as well, you're all going to absolutely berate me if I rock it into anyone. In the words of uh, Super GT, send them into the Shadow Realm. Still not getting the idea that I need to try and hit some apexes. Nonetheless, he piled into the barriers. So up into eighth we go. Very nice. So breaking hard, and I have no reason. <laughs> ah, here, I actually, that was where I learned that I could take that in third and not go all the way down to second. 
even into this long hairpin and out we go for another lap and we finished the lap in where are we eighth place so not bad actually quite happy with that so things are pretty uneventful for a little while so I'll just speed you up and I'll uh, bring you back when we when we've got some action into the barrier. Did he even make any effort to turn, gave a place away, couldn't get going and got a one and a half second penalty to boot. So I'm suffering as it is and now I've got this to worry about. Like I say, can I claw anything back out of this? What are we on lap three? I'm in tenth. It's perhaps no surprise to know that this probably isn't going to be the last place that I lose. slow through that part. Oh, there's a spinner. Free place, thank you very much. Okay, so as we come round to hit lap four. Now look at my tyres at this point. My tyres are shot to bits already. So my front right is just non-existent. Obviously bearing in mind all mediums, so I'll absolutely destroy the set of mediums. I'm leaning on that front right hand side No room at all. But it's okay, we'll just bank most of it. Right, once again, I'll speed you up and we'll come back when it's a bit more action. Bring you back just as my uh, my favourite hairpin, just as I get tanked by that uh, Jaguar. Right, flick it into the left. Okay, for a little tap there. I'm not doing real well with my taps that one. Nonetheless, didn't hit him too hard, so he was able to carry on. Just listen to that V8. If you're a headphone user, I'm sure you're enjoying this. Well, the audio anyway, not the driving. Right, now I'll be looking to go in the pits this time round. And it's at this point I realised that I don't actually know where the pit lane entrance is. <laughs> anyway, absolutely cooked that one again. No surprise given my uh, tyre situation. Not bad on the apex there, we're doing alright. But over the hill this point is all just about damage limitation. I know I've got going to pit, so I know I'm going to lose a place, so let's just make the most of it. Just enjoying the sound of that car. Whee! Oh, how did he keep it on there? Come on. Into the plot. An ultimate, and the final right hander. And I, if I remember right, this is where I decide on. Yeah, 
It's pit time. Right. Now, I can't be any worse off on the hards. I don't need fuel. So let's just go for it. Easily got enough fuel to get us through. It's my tyre usage that's a problem. Right, I've exited in the level, so that's good. I think I can see it in the places in the pits. I've got a nice little gap behind me, so as long as I don't completely screw up, we're going to be all right. So now it's just about rounding away. There we go, that wasn't too bad through there. Now shifting hard into that long left. Not too bad, not too bad at all there. Not letting that drag pull away, keeping him in our sights. Now I appreciate watching this <clears throat> compared to you guys that probably follow the likes of Super GT. Ah, oh, no! And, and this is where it kind of all goes a little bit wrong. Yeah. See, this, this kid is where I learn that gears of V8 car steering wheel and not really being that used to it doesn't help. It's that absolute hash up has put me down in full team. I then ran out of um, recording time on the PlayStation share, so I picked back up just a few seconds later. Right, so now we're in full team, but we know we haven't got pit again. I'm fairly certain some of the others haven't pitted. I've got good tyres. I've just had my moment, so this is my chance now. So this is all about just winding away keeping it as clean as I can for as best as I know the track. Right. We are quite rapidly coming up now on 13th place as we take the final right hander yet again. Onto the pit straight. Not a bad exit, not great but not bad. Hammer down, we can see we're just gaining, 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 pulling time out of them all the time. So this is where I decide we can go a little bit safer, a little bit earlier. Just concentrate on just staying in the track, basically. And that's where we just start reeling them in. Now I know I can be fairly quick through here. Oh, yeah. Fairly quick into a spin. I actually recovered that not too badly. All that hard work threw it down the drain. This is the reality of it. So, th this is the stuff that I didn't see when I was watching YouTube videos. Only because they probably don't make these mistakes, whereas I do. There you go, for you to uh, watch and laugh at. Right, down to my favourite hairpin. Am I going to make the same mistake again? Not too bad, I'm playing it cautious this time. It's really been just super gentle on the gas. Trying not to light the back end of the car up, and we're through. Right, the grind is on. Now I'm just going to shut up for a second and just enjoy the sound of this car. Right, okay, here we go. First of the redemption overtakes. Now I knew that if I torpedoed into that corner, I probably would have rammed him. So I gave him the room, gave him a bit of respect. He stayed wide, let me come through, so all good. I think we take that place. I'm pretty sure I don't concede it. So finally up to 13th. Now obviously our mission is to at least get to 11th. That's the mission. We've got a couple of laps left. I know the other guys aren't too far in front, I know I'm quicker than them. So let's just see if I can make the most of this. Learning that I can be a little bit quicker through there, still very cautious. Yeah, I'm not, not the fastest learner in the world. Heaving it around that long right hand up, bam, onto the pitch straight. All the while taking chunks out of the cars in front as we pip over into lap 7 
still haven't beat my race best. All the way back on lap two. Which by this point, my arms and my legs are thinking was a very long time ago. So there we go, the strategy of just keeping the call is starting to pay off. Ah, we got a little section through there. I'll do my best to pick a half decent braking point into this long left. Just couldn't quite work out an ideal line. I thought going wide and cutting in was good, and I'd always turn it a little bit too early. Nevertheless, down to my favourite corner. Lap after lap, this has been my favourite corner. Well, trying to be as careful as I can possibly be. Just feathering my way through. I'd rather be slow but not spin, because the spin will cost me more time than just being slow. Let me power back up the hill for his lovely fast left. Fast right. Well, I was going to say flat out, I'm feathering there. Into yet another long left hand turn. Right, now I can see I'm making ground on the car in front. At this point, I'm thinking you're going to have to settle for 13th. So, stick with it. Don't turn away. Right, here we go. It's this strange compound right hander. Okay, gentle left uphill. This track's quite peculiar, it's like they've just recycled corners and hashed it into a track. I'm sure there's only about three corner types. Now I kept getting this corner mixed up with the the faster corner which comes after the next chicane. Right, I can see the cars now, so I'm zeroing in but I'm trying not to lose my focus. Don't want to get excited because I'm terrible for getting excited and then I can I spin and can see the place. So here he is. Whee. Lighting up the rear again, getting out there. Tires are going off a bit now, but it doesn't really matter anymore. Right, so we're heading into the final lap and I can see I can see 12 is a possibility. I know I'm faster than this guy. We've seen him a few times this race, so let's go for it. Gaining, gaining, gaining. I don't want to get punted off, so I'll actually give him a bit of room. And frankly, I'd rather just sit on his back, see if he just makes a mistake. I'll just take advantage. Which, let's face it, Rich coming from me, given more performance so far this race. So I'm on completely the wrong side of the track, so I'll just move over and let me through. Oh, he kind of cuts back a bit, and I didn't really expect it. So again, I just gave him the room. Once again, I'm on the wrong side. But here we go, he's gonna, am I going to make a move? No, you know what, I thought better of it. He tanked it anyway. So all I had to do was just make it through. I know this is the worst part of the track for me. And did we make it? Yeah, lovely, clean through there. So it's on. I can see 11 within my sights. That's my goal right there. No, most people's goal is trying to win. My goal is just trying to finish where I started. <coughs> so that Ferrari, I can't remember, is it the same guy? I think this was the same guy we saw earlier who took advantage of my mistakes. Right, hard into this corner. Oh, there's me getting a little bit excited. Lost a bit of ground to him there. But I'm a lot faster out of the corners using that big Lexus V8 to pull me up the hill. Right, here we go. Now the question is, can I keep my call long enough to pressure him into a mistake? Oh, there you go, there it was. Now, whether he just made a mistake of his own accord or just me being behind pushed him into that, I've got to admit, I'm glad that he ghosted at that point because if not, I would surely have hit him and probably spun. And there we have it. We just make it round this final right hander. Keeping it higher gear than I normally would. I know I've got loads of time behind me, just didn't want to spin. And look at that, didn't even make it across the start finish line. <laughs> well, there we go, 11th. So, 
achieved one of my goals. Didn't make any place improvements, but that's okay. We're all right with that. Generally, it was a terrible race, but good from a learning point of view. Well, no point denying that race was a struggle. Nonetheless, we achieved one goal, so that's something. Now, the overall aim is obviously to try and improve my driver rating score. I think I've got that right. So, if we just... I think we're going to come out of here, have a little look at my profile and see how we've done. And as you can see, not got the highest stats in the world. So I've got S on my safety route, sportsmanship rating, sorry, not safety, and D on my driver. So here on Kudos, you can see I've only got 363 points. I've actually dropped some points, courtesy of that race. But there you go. So I think now is a good point for me to thank you for watching if you've lasted this long. I will be doing more of these videos and I will get better at them and I'll improve my microphone. So just bear with me and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Until then.